Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how do we analyze data when we're looking at a research question that's asking if there's a correlation between two variables. So in this case the question we're wanting to ask is, is there a correlation between the number of possums recorded and the distance from the nearest house? So here's some data that we have. Again, this is data from Dr. Gurian Ung at the University of Queensland, who's been really helpful in supporting teachers last year. It has one variable where we are looking at the distance from the nearest house. And then in the next column, it has the number of brushtail possums that were recorded at that point, as well as the ringtail possums. So we're looking at two different types of possum species. And so to do this, to work out if we have a correlation between values, we really need to use a scatter plot. So to do that, we can come and highlight the data and we can go to look at the types of charts and we could go and do a scatter chart. And if we click on that, we can get this type of chart here. Let's make that a little bit bigger where we have both data points for the brush tail possums and data points for the ring tail possums. So we can go and add on access titles as well. So we could make this the number of possums recorded. Okay, and this one would be the other variable distance from the nearest house and that's important that we put the units there as well. If when you give your graph a title it should be a descriptive title that maybe outlines the relationship or the correlation between number of possums and distance from the nearest house. And that would be sufficient, a sufficient title, which is also descriptive as well. So that's the key thing. The next thing to put on is our trend line to see what the R squared value is of a correlation. So we can do that by going to the trend line, putting a checkbox on that and doing it for the brush tail possum first. Okay. So it's putting the line of best fit between all those data points. And if we click on that line and go to the graph, we can ask it to put the R squared value there as well. So we can see that the R squared value or the strength of the correlation is 0 0.1002. If we get the other trend line now and add it for the other dots, so we can highlight one and then add the next one. I'm going to put this R squared value for the brush tails and then for the orange one, if I click on it and get it to display that one, I can see the R squared value for the orange. Now R squared value gives us the indication of the strength of that correlation. So we can already see based on this particular set of data that the correlation between the number of ringtail possums and the distance from the house is stronger than that is for the brush tail possums, but it's still not a strong relationship. So we have this data, but now we need to write that analysis. So how are we going to do that? Okay, so if we bring up this example here, we can make go through and look at that. Okay, what we can say based on the evidence that we've collected is that there are fewer ringtail possums recorded as the distance from the nearest residence increased. Okay, so because in both cases for both possums we have a negative relationship. The line is decreasing as the distance from the house moves. Okay. What we can now say is that the correlation is not strong. Okay. So we can say there are fewer ringtail possums okay, found as the distance from the house increased. However, the correlation was not strong. So R squared is equal to 0 0.4017.
there was no correlation between brushtail possum abundance and the distance to the nearest house. Okay, R squared value there is 0 0.1002. So very, very, very low correlation, if any at all. Okay. Again, we're making that pattern. What's the statement that you can make and support it with the evidence? Okay. If your research question is looking for a correlation between two variables, you should try and graph it and then work out what the R squared value is. Okay, go ahead and have a try with this with your data and see a teacher if you need some more help. Good luck.